What's up, everybody? It's Randy with the Craft Beer Nation coming back at you again with another review. Tonight, I have another Trillium beer. I think the last review I did was a Trillium beer as well, but um, this is a, this is one I've never had before. I uh, never had the regular version, never in the double dry hop version tonight. This is double dry hopped the public house from Trillium. This is an, a 7.3% IPA, and according to Trillium's website, um, blue with Citra, Columbus, and Centennial hops. They said this one is more bitter than their than their street IPAs, but it's uh, it's supposed to be a little more balanced because you get, uh, you know, more of the the malt characteristics that are supposed to come through in this beer. So um, nonetheless, um, yeah, this is I'm looking forward to trying this one. And once again, you know, Trillium has some some really dope like can art. You know, it's it's kind of minimalistic, but at the same time, you know, it's it's nice and classy with the um, I don't know, I guess that's a lantern of some some sorts right there. But yeah, public house. It's a, apparently a craft beer spot in Boston, or I guess technically Brookline, Massachusetts, I think they said. And um, yeah, it's supposed to be go go there for the for the super hospitality when it comes to the beer game. So yeah. Putting that in the glass right there, as you can see, absolutely no surprise. Um, it looks like you guessed it, juice. Um not so much like orange juice. This one's more more like a like a pineapple juice. Um, I I think the light is is nailing. I find I think I finally got my light right, and um, it's nailing the color pretty accurate right there. Uh, definitely pineapple juice. I didn't pour it very aggressive at all, but um, try to work up a little bit ahead and it doesn't even it doesn't stick around for for long. But nonetheless, thin film on the top. Um, if I could work it up anymore, I could tell that it it would be like some really puffy cloudy head right there. Um, as usual with Trillium beers, presents beautifully in the glass. Um, yeah, so let me jam my nose in there and tell you what it smells like. So the um, grapefruit, um, but like grapefruit, grapefruit flesh mixed with a little bit of. I want to say I'm getting this like a mixture of grapefruit and pineapple. Uh, but more so grapefruit. That was the first thing that came to my mind when I smelled it. So obviously the the citra hops here are playing a, a pretty pretty big character. I'm gonna guess that um, maybe the Columbus was probably used for to be to be more of a of a bittering hop, and uh, citra was definitely one of the late edition hops here. But um, yeah, and they, you know Tr Trillium's kind enough to tell you the malt bill on, on online as well. So this one is two row white wheat c15 and c60 then they added uh dextrin and dextrose i guess to do that they, well i know they, they kind of dry their rears out a little bit which i'm a big fan of especially with the new england ipa i like for it to finish dry but um tends to do that with all their ipas and i think that i mean from from my palate that works fantastically so yeah want to taste this bad boy cheers y'all So, um, you know, on, on the website they said it's not as it's not as juicy, or I'm sorry, it's not as sweet as their street IPAs, but it's definitely still as juicy as their their street IPAs. Um, there's like a grapefruit pithy bitterness on the back that kind of sticks around. Beer still finishes dry, but you notice um, you, you definitely notice more uh, bitterness, specifically grapefruit pith bitterness. Or no, I wouldn't even say grapefruit pith, just grapefruit flesh bitterness. You notice that more on this beer than you would on the on their on their street IPAs. It's not it's not the sweet juice bomb that their the street IPAs normally are, but it's still the same juice bomb, if the, if that makes sense. This one drinks really nicely. This is a good beer. Amen. Hold on, <laughs> let me get that again. At the very front, at the, so it starts out really orangey and then that orange just kind of like fades and the, then the grapefruit picks up and then the grapefruit, the grapefruit sweetness that you can get like say from a ruby red grapefruit kind of picks up and then you get grapefruit bitterness on the back. So orange, ruby red, grapefruit bitterness on the end 
and you can it's dope because you can get that whole you actually notice that entire flavor progression you know what i'm saying as you drink it so that is, it makes it be a lot of fun to drink and at 7.3 percent you can dome this for sure um yeah i i'd, I'd smash a four pack of this uh watching watching football on a saturday seeing as to how i'm a college football guy gamecocks let me down so good but uh yeah nonetheless very good beer um to recap citrus mixed with a little bit of pineapple or specifically grapefruit mixed with a little pineapple up front on the nose um then when you taste it you get like a orange uh, orange flesh uh, or no not let me tell you about it, not orange flesh probably like orange zest on the front that leads way to like fresh ruby red grapefruit flesh and then grapefruit bitterness on the back um, that that grapefruit bitterness lingers, but the beer still finishes dry. So you want to go back and get some more, and that's where that uh, you know I'm assuming that's where that 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 dextrose comes into play at, and in their malt bill, and uh, yeah, this might be one of those um, this might be one of those trillion beers that I think people kind of sleep on because it's not like the Fort Point, it's not the dialed in, it's not the scaled up or whatever. This is like this one. Like I would on the low, I'd be like, "Yo, can you got me some of that public house?" Because you know, people people might sleep on this one, but this is a legit beer. I'm gonna give this one four and a quarter CBN caps. Um, and 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 then, I mean, I I don't I don't even know why I wouldn't give it a higher a higher rating than that. I mean, it's obviously it's not like it's not Julius or it's not uh, nothing gold from Bissell Brothers. It's it's th those those beers I thought were in a in a league of their own. This one right here, very good, under the radar, sleeper beer from Trillium. If you have the opportunity to get it, do so. You're welcome. So there you have it, folks. Double Dry Hopped, the public house from Trillium Brewing Company. And I'm giving this bad boy four and a quarter CBN caps. So that said, uh, please be sure to check out some of our other reviews. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so do so <laughs> hit that like button on the bottom drop a comment um just holler at us and, and you know we'll get back at you for sure so until the next review ladies and gentlemen peace